hey what's up guys and welcome to another episode of the trap series i hope the viewers are enjoying all the videos they are gaining more knowledge and getting the insights that is needed to clear the exam uh, i will request that please give me feedbacks if there are any confusions in the video so i will edit it and uh, replace the videos and uh, i hope the viewers are not getting trapped in the confusions so without further ado let's begin so here we'll be talking about drivers not driver definition or the definition of the driver but the condition of the drivers well it is very important that the driver is fit enough to drive otherwise if the driver is tired then it will lead to accidents so in today's uh, video we will be discussing about why the condition of the driver is so important and the relation between reaction time and tiredness then we will see what are the rules and regulations around the drinking limits in the netherlands also we will discuss about drugs medications and its impact and uh, at the end we will see that what happens when a driver drives continuously okay moving forward so why the driver condition is important so if the driver is tired then the reaction time is low then it might lead to accident so the driver if he or she or it they are not fit to drive it will directly impact the reaction time which will and it will reduce the reaction time statistically 92% of the accidents are caused by human errors yeah and from the remaining 8% weather contrib con contributes to 3% and 5% by the vehicles maybe there, there is some problem with the vehicles maybe the uh, vehicle is not uh, uh, the the maintenance is not good enough uh, the brakes are not good which might lead to some uh, faults in the vehicle and then lead to an accident you might expect a question from the knowledge part uh, regarding this that uh, what is the approximate percentage of accident caused by human errors okay moving forward the relation between reaction time and tiredness okay if i drink beer or if i sleep too short or if i take medicines tagged with yellow and red before driving then my reaction time increases and if my reaction time is increasing so my uh, 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 stopping distance will also increase and if the gap between the vehicle at the front and me is less then it will lead to accident because as we remember in the last video we discussed about the stopping distance which is equals to the stopping distance is equals to the reaction plus the braking distance so and these are the three major factors that cause to high reaction time then regarding the drinking limits so a standard glass of beer which is around 200 ml is equals to has the same alcohol content as standard glass of whiskey well drinking and driving is a crime this is a very general fact but this is more important that uh, a standard glass of beer and a small glass of whiskey they have the same alcohol content and the main word to remember here is the standard the word standard might be there could be a question in some of the years there was some questions regarding this a new driver is allowed to have 0.2 promil the unit of measurement of alcohol in a human body is promil or microgram per liter so 0.2 promil is is equivalent to 88 microgram per liter and this is equivalent to one standard glass either it can be a standard glass of whiskey or a standard glass of beer so this is about the new driver well regarding the experienced driver it is allowed only 0.5 prom promil so it is around 2.5 times more because they are experienced which is logical uh, also if we convert this and this if this equals to 0.1 promil is equals to 44 microgram per liter so if 0.5 promil then 0.5 into 44 it is 22 
microgram per liter and this is equivalent to two standard glasses yeah you can do the calculation okay suppose if i drink 10 glass of beer what after after how many hours i am allowed to drive well to break down one standard glass of whiskey or a standard glass of beer it takes 1.5 hours for 10 glass of beer it is 10 into 1.5 equal to 15 hours there is a myth that if i drink coffee if i take dispirin or some medicines then within one hour i will be fit and ready to drive but that is not the case if you are driving then if there is an uh, alcohol test in between the road well the police can stop you at any time this is a rule in netherlands that uh, if a police shows uh, 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 you hand that to stop or indication to stop then you have to stop and if they measure it your alcohol content in your body through a, uh, they have some machines that, that, that they can measure then the alcohol content will be there so it's better to drive after 15 hours if you had 10 glass of beer so after that you can do the math okay coming to drink, drinking limit and disciplinary action if you are caught so I will start from the bottom if promo promo uh, pro in blood is in range of 0.8 to 1 for a new driver or for an experienced driver from 1 to 1.8 one has to mug up these limits it is very important to understand and mug up this limit because one can expect a question from here in the exam so promobile in blood for a new driver is 0.8 to 1 or for experienced driver 1 to 1.8 then the type of disciplinary action that can be imposed is educational measure alcohol and traffic ema is called ema uh, then if the alcohol content in blood is little bit less like in the range of 0.5 to 0.8 for a new driver and 0.8 to 1 for an experienced driver then it is light educational measure on alcohol and traffic i'm not going to into the details of what one has to do in these disciplinary actions because these things you can find in the book or in online in anywhere it can be easily found so these two are related to if you are drinking and driving but for example if you are driving recklessly if if the driving is not proper then it is labeled as dangerous driving and for a new driver to do a dangerous driving or an experienced driver then educational measure behavior and traffic that is emg can be imposed and if the promomil uh, the promil exceeds 0.8 limit then the new driver's license can be suspended this is very important to remember and if the speed limit is 40 and i am driving at 60 km per hour then this is an example of a dangerous driving so emg can be imposed so these are the very small small things but very important to remember then drugs and medication this is very easy if a drug okay uh, let me get this okay uh, drug makes the driver overconfident and less attentive which leads to decreased responsiveness means increased reaction time example if you have weed or marijuana or something then uh, while driving you are overconfident or uh, you can think of that okay let you are you are unattentive so this le can lead to high reaction time and further with accidents this point we have already discussed that yellow sticker medicines uh, if, if if you took a medic if you are under medication or if you took medicine before driving which has a, which is labeled as yellow then it is advised it is not mandatory or it is not it is not like uh, or a rule that you cannot drive it is advised not to drive but hence, but you can drive but it is advised not to drive but if the medicine is labeled as red then it is prohibited to drive this is very important and uh, to understand the difference between yellow and red stickers okay continuous driving well uh, if i do anything continuously then i i can get tired so that is the that is the analogy here that if continuous driving then it makes the driver tired and tiredness increases your reaction time and makes you less attentive about presence of other drivers this is a very small concept but very important to know 
it may also lead to fast driving reckless driving or dangerous driving overtaking and passing red lights because one gets impatient if you if i'm driving for like for example four hours if i'm going from netherlands to italy then it's a very long journey i have to take break i cannot drive very fast or i cannot drive uh, continuously so in this case emg can be imposed if one is found driving recklessly so the rule of thumb says that effectively every two hours one must take a break of 15 minutes this 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 this, uh, this is an average uh, extraction or is seen on an, on an average that every driver should take 15 minutes break after two hours <laughs> uh, also for studying the, the, the rule applies that uh, i have heard that from my friends that every two hours i have to take 10 minutes of break uh, well, uh, the last point is that uh, I shouldn't stop on the carriageway having bicycle lane. This is just an, uh, a, a very important concept that if the cycle lane has a marking of a cycle on it, then I shouldn't stop on it both within and outside the built up area. But if there is no cycle uh, marking on it and if it has uh, broken lines, then I can stop for a small time uh, for like loading, unloading or picking someone. Okay, with this, uh, we come to an end of this episode or this video and for further references, please refer to these uh, uh, repositories or refer to these uh, links or these uh, books for further reading and uh, my suggestion is that never get trapped, always keep your doubts clear and good day. That's it for today.